Big Mike Cox here for Muscular Development on that com with the mine, Milo Sarchev. Just finished up the 2021 Mr. Olympia press conference. New format this year, Milos. Um, one microphone, Bob Chicarillo. What was your opinion on this? It was interesting. I mean, uh, you know, this way you can isolate the categories. You can bring the top runners and then you can have them, you know, put the show like they did. And I think it was very, very interesting. I was just waiting for a big Rami. You know, after they said about winter is coming, that he's going to say it's ice age for many years to come. But he didn't say that. Yeah. Uh, look, he is going to bring up the heat. But uh, as you've seen, uh, Hadi Chupan mm. is ready. And uh, uh, I was thinking that maybe uh, he lost some size in the legs in one of the videos. But I was watching now and he didn't lose any size. Therefore, it's a front runner. William Boniak, oh my God, this confidence. Like he said, he beat uh, Rami many times before. He's bringing his best package so he can be a contender. Nick Walker, you know, really believes he's going to be three for three. Uh, you know, Brandon Curry, you know, has this aesthetics, you know, champion that uh, he says razor cuts, the separation and that shape. So it's going to be really a coin toss. Mm -hmm. We'll see what they're looking for. As Steve Weinberger said, we are not looking for Instagram champions. We are looking uh, for yeah, what is going to be on the stage. And I think it's going to be like some crazy battle tomorrow. Now, Ra tomorrow. now Rami weighed on this, uh, in clothes, 303 pounds. Historically, when Rami's been that heavy, the condition and detail have been lacking. You think that may hurt him, or maybe will Chad try to dry him out a little more, bring the weight down a little bit to see a little more crisp? Because Hadi Chupan from the pictures is going to be a problem, and yeah. Nick's going to be a problem. Nick has that yeah. 90s detail like you guys had. Yes. Uh, look, uh, I, I spoke about this for many years, that if Rami just uh, depletes into the show, because for many years we were wishing that he can be that super dry and separated condition, and he didn't, so last year he brought it. Going into the show, when I was watching a little bit of this training footage with uh, Dennis James, he kind of looked like uh, he's getting for that lighter yes. version. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he says he was 290 and then he stepped on the scale, you know, 305. Probably with all the clothes, mm -hmm. you maybe have a uh, seven, eight pounds, right. probably. But uh, I think they know the formula that uh, big Rami did not beat competition before. Mm -hmm. Condition Rami did. Yes. So the, that formula has to be uh, implemented. Otherwise, he's going to be in trouble. Now, for the 212 guys, it was very interesting because we've been waiting for Derek Lunsford to show up in the condition he shows us online. Yes. Big, full, hard condition. He's working with uh, Hani, Hani Ramba this year. Yeah. Now, if 100% Derek, how does he fare against a Sean Corita or even a lighter Kamal? Yes, well, 100% uh, Derek in uh, incredible condition, condition that can match uh, Sean Clarita uh, beats Sean because mm. he's so much wider, you know, has that extra and V taper. When he opens up uh, the front double biceps, goes everywhere, mm. back double biceps, oh my God. But uh, there was a difference in conditioning, a big difference in conditioning. And uh, uh, like uh, Kamal said last year, you know, he was uh, leading after the prejudging and lost by one point, okay, and he's bringing improved package at the age of 50 with the cuts that he never seen right. before. So Kamal is you know, definitely there, there in, in, a, in a run. Uh, I must say, and we all, you know, I'm sure we are still under the influence that George Peterson, a yeah. dear Iron Man brother, died yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's the most heartbreaking uh, thing in the history of Olympia in a, over half of the century. Uh, I'm still hurting. I know, I know him personally and his coach, Justin yeah. Miller, uh, just hearing this heartbreaking story. So uh, all our thoughts goes to his family. And uh, George was, for me, actually a dark horse that uh, yes. uh, I thought he can win the contest. Yes, and uh, apparently by the pictures that maybe is going to be released uh, you know, in, in the coming days, you're going to see that he was in top condition. Yeah. He was... Uh, reportedly 207 pounds so there is already he was under the weight yeah. limit and uh, i know that uh, some people want to manipulate that uh, god knows what happened maybe you know trying to make the weight and he went too far no he made the weight already right. well in advance he was conditioned he was improved and uh, i mean this is one of those things that's going to hurt us for many many years yes. i love george and uh, uh, the ball you know you are with us yes, all the way definitely now, last class I want to touch on is classic physique. Um, Chris Bumstead, just from what I've seen on its videos and pictures, he looks like he's kind of taking a step ahead of the rest of the division. Now, can Terrence give him any issues, maybe Robert Timms? You know what, uh, I made a mistake uh, doubting uh, Chris. Like after 2019, I didn't see him winning. 
And I said that, uh, you know, openly in uh, my MD interview that, yeah, he did not beat for me. Mm. George Peterson and uh, Brion in 2019. You know, because I was still thinking it's a bodybuilding show and it still has to be like that uh, mm. around muscle bellies, uh, arms, back and all that stuff. I mean, you look at the uh, classic physique, doesn't have uh, all the poses, right. but has a uh, front double biceps, back double biceps. So somebody with a weak arms and weak back, it doesn't make sense to, to win. However, he won and he won on the structure. Yeah. However, 2020, when uh, Chris Bumstead showed up, it was like a stamp. Before, before they even, you know, they start posing, he yeah. won that show. Yeah. Uh, he was so dominant. And I even said that in, even in bodybuilding uh, competition, by the bodybuilding rules, he, he would have won. Yeah. He's even improved now. And I really don't think yeah. that, that, that anybody can touch him. Right. So I, I think that uh, yeah. he sealed the first place yeah. before the, the even first pose. And uh, really, the show is going to be for the second place. I expect that Terence is going to be in a better condition than he was the Arnold Classic. And he has the ability to be that super extra dry. Yeah. But again, uh, he is much shorter. And uh, uh, I think that Chris is going to just yes. dominate the yes. stage. Yes. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat tonight. Um, we have the Beat Olympians this after this evening, uh, pre judging tomorrow morning for Muscular Magazine, High Tech Pharmaceuticals, and Milos Lamine Sarchev. Big Mike Cox, out.